The next step in the process after setup is to find features. EdgeCam uses features to determine and apply machining instructions. The feature attributes are used in strategies to fit proper tool sizes, determine depths, etc. Features are fully associative to the solid models, so this means that when a part has a revision change and a new model is loaded, the features automatically adjust to the new model. Under the Features tab, we see a command for Find Features. Selecting this command opens the Automatic Feature Finder. A dialog opens up and we see a list of mill options which are available. I will move the dialog over just a bit so we can also view the solid model. Referring to the solid, we need to decide what we want to machine on the part in this operation. These questions will be answered unique to each setup we encounter. Do we have 2D pockets? To get an illustration of what a 2D pocket is, hover the cursor over 2D pocket and a picture will appear, showing an example. The answer when looking at the model will be yes, and we have a total of six 2D pockets. We will make sure this is checked. A 2D boss is any exterior sidewall that has perpendicular to the current CPL or work plane. In this case, the outside profile would be considered a 2D boss and should be checked. Open pockets and open mill are similar, but you see by looking at the example pictures, there are differences. Since there are no open pockets or open mills in the solid model, features of this type will not be found, even if the boxes are checked. There are flat faces, specifically on the top face, that we will machine. We do have vertical holes, so that will be checked as well. Select faces will be reserved for more advanced setups where multiple CPLs on different planes are used. Over to the right are three more areas that may need to be considered. By selecting Edit by the Mill options, you will see more specific items to be addressed. Full descriptions of each item are available by opening the Help button and select the Mill tab. Opening the Whole Options Edit I want to point out to you that you can determine the maximum hole diameter for drilling. Based on your input, any hole feature found that has a larger diameter than you specified here will be mill interpolated instead of drilled. Finally, the Select Planes edit allows you to pick specific CPLs to be used in automatic feature finding. This would be used in a 4 or 5 axis setup that is not available in the Essential License Configuration. After pressing OK, the features are found and appear in the Features list and on the Solid Model. Scrolling down the list, the features light up red as the cursor passes the feature name. By toggling the Advanced commands, you have tools available to allow manual creation of features for specific needs. This completes the feature finding steps of the process.